aesthetically, I love the world. I love yeah. New Bordeaux. Um, I just, I really appreciate the fact that this game takes place in a uh, place and time that isn't usually represented in games. Yeah. Like, we've done New York and L.A. facsimiles a ton. Sure. Whereas, like, we don't really have this, and especially of the era, uh, 1967. And, and talking about that, like, this game does, like, head-on deal with what you would think of in terms of playing an African-American uh, protagonist in, in, the late 60s. in the late 60s in America. This game does deal with, uh, you know, just straight on with racism and with the Klan and with the fact yeah. that there's certain stores where if you just enter a store, They'll they're like, you, we don't serve you. You have yeah, to leave. Exactly. Segregation is still very much a big part of this yeah. world. Uh, and that's one thing I really appreciated about this game when I, I did... I did preview coverage yeah. for so long on it that every time I saw it, it was consistent in that it didn't shy away from anything. You know, yeah. it's it, like has... it, it, it'd be it'd be easy to say like, oh, <coughs> everyone's racist, but yeah. you know, we're not really gonna force it on you. Like, yeah. you're never gonna hear the N word or yeah, anything yeah. like that. But and no. this and this game, whether yeah. or not it needs it, in your opinion or my opinion, like it's there. Yeah, like, the and world is there and addresses it right at the splash. <laughs> like right when you start the game, it has this like note from Hangar 13 that's very much like, yeah. hey, we didn't want to pull any punches because this is what the world was like, and a lot of people still go through this in the world. So. I really really appreciate it yeah, and i mean same. even even some characters in the game like acknowledge that this is something that's rough uh, in the one of the one of the early parts of the game uh in the opening missions one of his white friends is like hey you know we're going undercover so i'm sorry if i have to use the n-word yeah he goes, he's like well, hey i might have to talk down to you like, yeah he's like just... it's not like i haven't heard it before yeah yeah you know? um also just like when you get into certain areas like this is just really i don't know i just love the interior look, of this like place. you can look at the texture on the walls yeah right? like it, it's got that crappy floral texture oh totally yeah see so yeah, I uh, was mentioning how much I like uh, aesthetically New Bordeaux. Uh, that being said, like there's not a t which I guess I don't know. Maybe that's my complaint in all open world games mm -hmm. is the city looks really cool, but yeah. there's not like a ton of stuff to do in it. There's sure. more now than there was uh, in the first ten hours of the game, but I feel like it's this super big, awesome playground just with, with like designated event areas. Yeah, yeah, and and maybe. Again, like new stuff is unlocking still throughout the game. Like right. this is, I don't want to call it an extended tutorial, but like I just got to the part where I'm going to start doing things and having to assign which lieutenant it goes to. So, um, and I mean, see right here, there's a red car. Uh, if you're looking at the mini yes. map up on the left, and like that's a randomly generated, I assume randomly generated yes. event where you can go take out that car, uh, drop the sort of the. Uh, control that the mob has over yeah. this district and also earn a little bit of yeah. cash, right? But there's also that red car, this is a revenge thing. So I took this from, I took this district from Marcano, who's uh -huh. eventually the, the, the dude you want to kill. Right. Um, and so he has dudes who are out to get oh, me. Oh, so this is a retaliation And so this thing. is them against me. And uh, the last time I did this, uh, the last time I did something like that, I just... Uh, oh, my God. She was, she was racist. She's, yeah. <laughs> She's just sleeping. She was very. She's a very sleepy racist. She's That's my favorite bedtime nar story. The narcolepsy racist. <laughs> um, I think that was one of the people he he dates in the hit film, uh, Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it, it is. is. <laughs> it is. I don't know if she was um, a racist, but well, probably. I mean, I um, well, you can say everybody is. Uh, <laughs> well, what every, the hell? Everyone you kill it. What the hell was I saying? I oh, no uh, the fact that. Uh, Oh, I drove, a dude was chasing me, yeah. and so I drove into what I knew was one of my safe houses, and I just drove in, and all of a sudden, all my Italian buddies just killed the guy. And I was like, <laughs> oh, this is great. I don't have to do anything. So this is really cool, because uh, this riverboat area right here with that bridge right there, yeah. I actually was standing on, uh, this is the riverfront, in New Orleans, yeah. and this kind of plays out perfectly. Like, it looks very similar. Yeah, so this isn't, this is, again, called uh, New, <laughs> New Bordeaux. Bordeaux. But obviously, very, very heavily inspired by New Orleans. Very uh, heavily. The, one of the opening missions is on is during Mardi Gras. Yeah. You go through the Mardi Gras parade, and it looks like Bourbon Street. They have the French Ward, which yeah. is the French Quarter. Yep. They have a bunch of the uh, the the, um, the the their cemeteries are above ground. I don't know if those have names. Oh, Mausole uh, mausoleum mausoleums. Mausoleums. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, so I mean, the the recreation of we actually have a couple videos up where we uh, went to New Orleans mm -hmm. and. And looked around New Orleans and compared it to the game, and then talked to Hangar 13 about what it took to do that. So they're they're kind of really interesting watches if you're interested in the uh, you know the geography of the city and like what it takes to make a city into a video game. Because I don't know if you know that playing a video game in a big in a in a regular city would be super boring. Yes, you need to expand roads. You need yeah. to like sort of cut and chop and screw uh, parts yeah. of the city. Uh, don't don't yeah. No, cut and chop and screw them all together. Yeah, stop it. 